Hey guys, this is uh, just a follow-up from the Rock Island auction that was a couple months ago. People often like to know how much auction items actually sold for, so we've got all of them going through here. I will point out these are without uh, the seller's commission. Typically when you place a bid at an auction house like this, uh, they will tack on an extra percentage, typically 15 to 20 percent, um, and that's part of how the auction house makes its money. So. Uh, also items that are marked as did not sell. Um, there are a number of reasons that could be behind that. Uh, most common would probably be that there was a reserve price set for the item uh, by the consigner and the bidding didn't meet that reserve so it doesn't sell. Um, that item may go back to the consigner, it may come up in a future auction with a lower reserve, any number of things. Um, some of the machine gun prices here are surprisingly low to me. Um, I think this, this Hotchkiss in particular, um, I think that's uh, just a good reminder that even if you don't think you might win something, if you want it, it's worth getting involved in bidding anyway, because you never know what uh, what's actually going to happen. Uh, we haven't gotten to the Nambus yet, but I'll be honest, I'm kind of kicking myself for not bidding on one of those uh, Nambu light machine guns. Uh, uh, this is an example that uh, older pattern one did sell, the newer one did not. A couple of Civil War carbines. What else do we have here? Yeah, I kind of wish I'd bid on that, you know? That was seemed to be actually a really nice gun. Um, this one as well, although this one did have a uh, the, we the barrel welded on. It was kind of deactivated. So... Once again, a bunch of cool stuff in this auction. Obviously, they're not limited to just the small handful of items that I have an opportunity to talk to you guys about. Um, they have literally thousands of guns in each of these auctions. So if there's anything that you are looking for, uh, auction houses are a great place to check it out. You might be able to find something cool that you don't find uh, anywhere else. Let's see, we got the last couple coming up here. Uh, point out that carbine is the one on top. Uh, the one on bottom was not for sale. That was just something that I used to compare. And then a whole mess of Merwin and Hulbert revolvers. Oh. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. There is another Rock Island auction coming up, and we'll be doing some more video from there. So stay tuned.